Hi there, this is Paul Thompson from Spitfire Audio. I'm really looking forward to showing you our steel drums library today. We have a couple of really great sounding pans. There's the cello pan and then we have the lead pan as well. So we've recorded these in um, the environment at Air Lindhurst Hall. So you've got a variety of different microphone options. You can go um, from a really very, very close sound, which I'll give you a quick example of. Right through to a very ambient sound, which sounds like this. And then pretty much anything in between. You've got the easy tweak section here where you can you can use a uh, very simple slider to, to adjust the balance. Or you can go into the mic selection here and then really just pick the, um, the exact blend that you want. I'm going to put the outriggers up first of all, plus the close mic. And we use that as a general balance to start off with. So I'm going to show you, give you a quick example of all the different articulations that comprise the library. So the first thing is the cello pan, which is the lower pan. So you can hear you've got a wide range of dynamic there. It's a really, um, really useful sound. And then the lead pan sounds like this. And we've also recorded real rolls. So you've got control over the dynamics using the mod wheel. But also you can use the expression sliders to get slightly more overall volume control as well. So if we use these in conjunction, You can hear that you can really get a full a full degree of control over the um, over the dynamics of you know what you're actually hearing. If we go back to the cello pan, we've got a couple of different beaters here, so I'm just going to switch the close mic only so that you can hear a really um, the really clear distinction between them. So we we'll start off with the normal here, and then we've got large beater. And this is like a kind of um, a very large kind of fluffy head on the stick. You can hear um, a really great kind of way of listening to the difference that that rings the room um, in the hall is to listen to the ambient and outrigger mics. So this is great to use the large beta for some really kind of beautiful atmospheric effects. And obviously if we put the close mic back in and then we've got the pan roll it's a really beautiful ringing sound and we've got a small beater So you've got a wide variety of colours there with the cello pan. You've got the lead pan hits here and the rolls that we just saw and then the ensemble hits. And if we look at the ensemble hits, a blend across the keyboard of cello and lead. You can really play very softly here. get a wide variety of dynamic in the performance. Let's have a look at some of the alternative mic presets. So again we hit the spanner to get into the more detailed view here and we've got, um, we'll go to the ensemble hits that we were just listening to. We've got a close ribbon option. And 
you can hear that that's kind of rounded the top end off the sound a little bit. We've got a stage set. Which is a very useful sound as well. And then finally the gallery, which is the most ambient of all of our different signals. And then if we look at the stereo mixes, you can see that there are three options that Jake has given us here. They latch um, because obviously they some might be using elements of the same mics, so you don't want them to phase, so you would never want them playing at the same time. But there are three different options. The fine option. The medium option. And the broad option. So you've got three very different perspectives, nice and easy to use, um, mixed right away for you, ready to go. And within the individual patches in each um, of these folders, in each of the instruments folders, you've got a set of individual patches so you can load just the articulation you want to work with. Now, if we look in the eDNA section, and let's just uh, start loading some stuff and having a listen. So here we've taken the actual original sounds the original samples and then we've put them into the morphing engine of the eDNA interface and come up with a variety of really great out-of-the-box sounds that are ready to go. I'm just going to flick through some of the options here just at random so you can hear different things. This is a fun one. Modwell controls bass pitch. That's really useful for doing some kind of crazy, crazy effects. listen to dry and farty massive hit faster version of that patch.
They really make some interesting sounds, these source sounds. They're so rich and complex in their harmonic content. So if you click the play button, that simulates what's happening in your door when you're actually playing um, this patch with a continuous rolling playhead. Obviously this syncs to tempo, so whatever the tempo that's set in your door is the tempo that you'll get there. Follow the instruction and play it quietly. <laughs> Testing my ability to play in time. Um, super tight, extra Jamaican. base. Okay, so some different kinds of uh, ex those extra little kind of color parts that you put behind the normal base. got some raw sounds right at the bottom which you can use to um, to kind of create your own patches as well and as you can hear there is a re-triggering version of each of those as well so that's a quick look at the eDNA section of the library and then down here you can see that there are MIDI loops and ostinatum presets as well um, within the library that just kind of can help you get going on a creative front um, just drag and drop into your sequencer and if we bring this up from behind you can see within the MIDI loop section there's a ton of really interesting stuff in there and then you've got your ostinatum presets as well 
So in summary, let's just go back to the main patch. Let's get all of our mics up. Get a quick balance on there. And have a quick play and it sounds like this. <laughs> If you literally just want the tight dry sound, you want to set up your own delays and verb. So you can hear there the close mic is incredibly tight and dry. Um, really, really useful library. It, we've um, been enjoying steel drums appearing on quite a few hit records over the last couple of months. So um, this is our first entry in our Summer of Steel series. And we hope you enjoy the library and look forward to seeing you on the next one. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.